I got a question about how I use my brushes. The question goes, can you please show us what brushes do you use and what size? So I'll give you a rundown of how I use my brushes and you know which ones I use. So hopefully this will help you. Um, I always use the basic brushes, default brushes that come with Procreate. I've experimented with other, other brushes, but I always go to the default ones. So right now, uh, the brushes that I use uh, in Sketch, I use Peppermint. And for inking, I use the uh, Ink Bleed and the Tinderbox. So I'll give you a demonstration of how I use them, and hopefully this will help you. Okay, so let's go back to Peppermint brushes. For, for the thickness of the brush, when I use the Peppermint brush, I keep, keep it at 100% and the opacity at 100%. This is just for the base of the illustration. I'm just like feeling the drawing out. I'm not actually doing anything detailed with the ink, uh, the peppermint brush. That's why I keep it at 100%. I can always lower the opacity if I if I need if I find it's in my way when I do the overlay with the inking. Uh, but for now, we're going to keep it at 100% and let's quickly draw something and then I'll explain more. This is what I mean. I'm just roughing it out right now. We'll see what I'm trying to do. I'll focus more on this arm here. If it doesn't work, you can always move parts of the drawing around so it fits in within what you're looking for and continue. This is why I really like starting out with a peppermint pencil. I feel like I have more freedom uh, of doing what I want to do. Once I've got the start of my drawing, I can create a new layer and then I can go into my inking and pick the ink bleed, which is here. And for the thickness of that, I, I will usually stick to like, you know, somewhere around 15, 15, 16 percent. I'll keep the opacity at 100 percent for that and then I will start getting into more detail uh, of this sketch. All right, I think that's for demonstration purposes, that's enough. And now we'll add another layer. I usually like keeping this layer in between my pencil and my ink. And this layer, I'm going to uh, use Tinderbox uh, brush. And I will keep that at the opacity. This is where I change the opacity of, of the brush. I will usually keep it around like maybe 20. I mean, a lot of this is like just eyeballing it. As far as the size of this, just put it anywhere. And then I will just sh start out with shading it. Okay. I'll increase the opacity just a little bit. It's sitting at uh, 20, I think that was 29. And then I'll just go underneath where the shadows would fall here. And then I'll go back to my ink bleed and then I will create another layer. And then on the, in this layer, I will basically do the, like the darkest parts of the drawing. For example, inside this helmet. So it seems to be a little too thick. Bring it the thickness level a little lower.
So to recap, the three brushes I use, Peppermint, Ink Bleed, and then Tinderbox. Hopefully in the future I'll make a more in-depth video on how I use the brushes and actually show you on a better scale. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.